we're trying to develop some solutions for virtual uh, maintenance training, virtual applications for uh, someone stepping through a procedure uh, that we've given them. So we can have the user practice a maintenance procedure, whether it's uh, taking apart an engine, putting the engine back together. We use NVIDIA technology throughout all of our workstations. The first step is to go in and create the 3D CAD files that we need. So we went in and scanned uh, virtually 3D uh, the engine uh, piece by piece to get everything in. We're using uh, 3D GPU desktop machines to go through and visualize all that. And then we take it and put it over into a NVIDIA GPU laptop version of that so that way we can take the laptop into the workshop environment. The user doesn't have to fly to a classroom, they don't have to travel to a classroom. We can literally uh, put it on a cart, roll it right in front of them, and away they go. We now can uh, take the form factor down, we can uh, make it portable, and make it uh, go wherever the user needs it to be, plus show them more than what they have. So before we only could show a part of the engine, now we can show them the whole thing at the same time. CAD data in general is ultimately heavy. Uh, they're not really focused on reducing the mesh count. They're more focused on the physical accuracy of the part. So there's a lot of emphasis on that. So when we take the CAD data, we have to massage a little bit, downgrade the tessellation a little bit. Not so much that the user doesn't understand what they're looking at, but enough to help performance. Um, as the progression of GPUs have gone, we've had to do that less and less. So ultimately, we can take the CAD file that the engineer is using and use it immediately into uh, our environment. As the GPU performance increases, it helps us uh, become more efficient and quicker at what we do.